This video will be focusing on the transistor, uh, specifically the NPN type of transistor. There's NPN types and PNP types. This transistor, here's a close up, is a 2N2222 transistor. There's also an A here that's just kind of extra. The main thing to remember is 2N2222 because that's the most common type of uh, transistor. And here's the actual component. Uh, since it's NPN, usually we put the flat side to the right when we're working with breadboards. And you'll, you'll kind of see why later. You will notice on the sheet here, I have these pins numbered. One, two, and three. And remember, that's as if you're looking at it this way, looking at the pins. And E stands for emitter, B stands for base, and C stands for collector and th that's important to know the name of these pins when you're using it so as I said on a breadboard usually this pins on top that's the collector then the middle one's the base and the bottom one is the emitter an NPN transistor and a PNP transistor these are bipolar junction transistors are made up of three elements. Uh, they're semiconductors, usually silicon, and the silicon is changed to either be an N-type or a P-type. So an NPN transistor is a negative positive negative type, and then a PNP transistor is a positive negative positive type. In this video, we're just going to focus on the NPN type. And also, diodes have N-type and P-type material. But uh, they just have an N and a P, so they're pretty straightforward. You uh, apply a positive charge to the positive side, and a negative charge to the negative side, and then it will conduct. But if you apply a negative charge to the positive side, and a positive charge to the negative side, it won't conduct. It insulates. And the transistor is similar to that, but uh, a little bit more complicated. So I'll show you how to put together a circuit with the transistor right now. Since this is an NPN transistor, the top pin up here, this is called the collector, that heads towards the positive side of the circuit. And in this case, I have a 330 ohm resistor, which will protect this LED from the 9 volt battery. And that's going to be part of the circuit. Then we add a jumper that goes from negative to this bottom pin here which is the emitter. So now we have positive three components to negative. With the battery plugged in now you see the circuits not doing anything and that's because this transistor is a switch. Right now it's off and to turn it on we need to do something with the base, that middle pin. So I add this resistor which is connected to the positive and then through this jumper to the middle pin the base of the transistor and now you see that this LED is lighting this LED is made specifically to light like this it's called a fast flashing LED or a fast blinking LED and it has three colors so it's made to do that the transistor is not doing that so I put in a more common LED this is a little LED and they light up a little bit easier than most LEDs and I wanted the other LED to show this resistor which connects the positive power to the base is a 470 kilo ohm resistor and normally that's uh, too much resistance even with a 9 volt to light an LED and it kind of lights up these little ones they're really dim though and so all this is doing is it's sending the positive charge of the transistor to turn it on. The transistor is kind of like a switch in this case. And so what that's doing it's as I said the rest of the circuit is uh, positive to negative so even with this high value resistor to the base it turns it on enough where it lights up. Now if I pull it out as a switch it turns it off. Since there's no positive power to the base it uh, blocks the power from going to positive to negative. 
the other way to use the transistor is as an amplifier. Now, I added an LED. This is the same resistor, 470 kilo ohm resistor. But I added an LED to show how little the current is going to the base compared to what's going through the transistor. Now, with this variable resistor, I have that in series with the other resistor, but it's set to zero ohms right now. So this is the only resistor giving resistance. Now I'm going to turn this down. This is a voltage divider right now. So I'm going to turn the voltage down and you'll see that the other LED gets really dim. Now it's getting brighter. And so is this one. But you see this one has more effect by far. So that's the amplification. You can use this small amount of current to control a larger amount of current. Here is a basic schematic for an NPN transistor such as the 2N2222. As I said, NPN transistors, they're, they're all basically the same when they're bipolar junction transistors. And, well, we'll go over what that means later. But anyways, as I showed in the circuit, the collector, we had the LED and the protective resistor come into collector. And as I said, this resistor is just to protect the LED. So whatever value to protect the LED. Earlier I used a 330 ohm resistor. The emitter comes right to negative. Now, with uh, these transistors, you can always tell the emitter by the arrow. Sometimes the arrow may be on top, sometimes on bottom. And this, since this is an NPN transistor, the arrow is pointing out. NPN can be thought of as never pointing in when it comes to this arrow. If the arrow is pointing in, then it's a PNP transistor. But uh, in this case, that's going right to negative. And then the base, that middle pin, has the high value resistor. Since this can have lower current to control a larger flow. And there's also a switch in this schematic, but I didn't add it to this circuit. I just pulled the switch out. So here's the basic symbol for the transistor. Sometimes it's circled. I like it better circled. But sometimes you just see these lines here. And sometimes there's a little gap there. But uh, if you see this and the arrow's pointing out, you can be pretty sure that it's an NPN bipolar junction transistor. And if you have 2N2222 transistors of uh, any variety, then that will work in that circuit.